Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Andre, KW5DRE. Now, Andre has a channel, an interesting channel, called uh, Black Ham Radio University. He's trying to bring more people of color into ham radio. Uh, it's a great source of additional people as older people tend to age out of the hobby, which is a euphemism for dying, but I think I'd rather age out of the hobby than die, but you know. Anyway, he is uh, doing a great job with that. I was one of his guests on that channel, so you can look that up um, and find me there. Um, now he has a question. Can I use speaker wire to use as an antenna for my 40 meter dipole? The attached image says it's only 30 feet long, but of course I would get longer lengths, but I just want to know if this can be used for a 40 meter dipole. Well, there's two ways you can use it. Got a piece of wire right here. Okay, so you can take this as like speaker wire. Okay, a lot of which looks like this, it's polarized. Um, and just pull the ends apart like this. Okay, just pull the ends apart and you have two pieces of wire. Now, if you don't want to do that and you've got plenty of wire, just cut the edges, or, um, take the ends off this, solder it together here, solder it together here so you've got a single piece of wire. Okay, if you have to shorten it, re-solder it. If you have to lengthen it, just add a, a piece of, uh, a single piece of wire. Okay, now I want to talk a little bit about what somebody might think would be an obvious thing to do, and that is to use the speaker wire here as transmission line. Has it ever been done? Yes, but it's going to give you a very weird answer, and it may not be uniform across the whole line. The um, uh, impedance of the transmission line is a function of just two things. The wire gauge and the separation. And there's a formula for that that you can find in the handbook that will tell you what that gauge is going to be. Can it be matched? Yes, it can be done, but I don't recommend it because those wires are quite close together and so the impedance is going to be quite low. All right, so there you have it. I would suggest you feed it with ladder or with the coax. You could feed it with ladder line if you wanted to, but this way you get two entirely separate pieces of wire that can be attached to an insulator here and do great and wonderful things with it. Okay? So there you have it. Now, I would in particular encourage you to go to the Black Ham Radio University channel. And I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, they're very good at what they do. They're broadcast professionals. They uh, do a good job. It's sort of done in podcast format with a couple people. Uh, working it together and there is one um, issue of it that uh, I am in they interviewed me at some length okay so what we've discovered is just about any wire will work for a dipole second this very issue was addressed in the November 2023 QST, which as of the development of this video is not out yet. It will come out in uh, early October around the 9th or so, and you can see that there. I've got basically the same picture, but not with all of this explanation. So please stay tuned for uh, several uh, screens. One that talks about how to get a hold of me reliably. Uh, one that uh, talks about how you can help this channel along financially if you want to. And then uh, our patrons, quite a few patrons, and they're all listed there. We update the patron list every month. So there you have it. Until we next meet, 73.